Good afternoon guys and welcome back to my channel. I know that my previous videos have been kind of different with the backgrounds, but I'm just trying to figure out lighting situations, um, more aesthetic backgrounds for you guys so it could be more pleasing. And I was going to put like my backdrops, but I know that, I don't know, it would be a little bit harder for me to set up. So today I'm going to be filming in my living room and you're kind of going to be seeing the background. It's a little bit of a mess, but don't mind it. Like I said, I'm just trying to figure out the lighting and everything. So if this video ends up turning out okay with the lighting, I might end up doing something like this or facing my window because this is my living room window on that side. So if this turns out really good, so I'm probably just going to end up filming like this. But um, today I'm going to be showing you guys my full coverage foundation routine and today is pretty hot it's 91 degrees outside and it's September which is beautiful and it's awesome so I'm gonna go for more full coverage foundation to make sure that I stay matte throughout the day and that it's long wearing and because my skin is already oily I am not trying to have um, my makeup slide off and slide around all over the place and also you guys may notice I'm not wearing my little koala bear ears today so this is just like a regular headband and I got this it was three dollars and it was buy one get two free at Aeropasto and that was like maybe two weeks ago so I'm pretty sure they still have a sale going on so you guys should check it out if they do and um, also before we start the video down below I link my Facebook account my snapchat and my Instagram my Instagram I had it, I have an Instagram, but I kind of deleted everything that I had before to start fresh. So there might not be anything up there right now, but I will get something up there soon. So, um, yeah, let's just get straight into the video. So for today, to hydrate my skin, I'm going to use this anti, anti Haddad Crema Facial. And my mom brought this from Spain, so I'm not sure if you can get it here in the United States. But I have been using it the past couple of weeks and I do like the way that um, it leaves my skin. The scent is there. It's very light but it's nothing like too fragranted. It's not like super sweet or anything like that. It's super just like laid back and yeah so um, if you're kind of bothered by scents I feel like you may not like this but for me scents don't really bother me so yeah, so this isn't really much of a bother to me. And also, like I said, I am already oily, so I'm not trying to put too much like on my T-zone because that is where I get the most oily first. So I'm kind of just putting a little bit there because I don't like to leave my skin totally neglected. But I just don't put too much there and I don't focus it there. And I also never forget my neck because your neck is very important too. That is a part of your body that can easily, with your the back of your hands, get very um, wrinkly and crackly throughout the years. So if you want to keep your skin looking young, sorry, if you want to keep your skin looking young, um, a awesome, awesome tip is water and oils and also lotions. So for my full coverage foundation and I know it's kind of weird because I'm not starting off with my eyebrows today which I usually do but I'm probably just going to do that at the end but um, for my full coverage foundation I'm going to use my Estee Lauder double wear foundation and this is in the shade 2W1 Dawn um, this is a little bit too dark for me but it's not like super duper like that much of a different start I'm just going to put like a little bit the only thing that sucks this foundation is super expensive, super high end, but there is no pump with it. And I heard that you can get a MAC pump and just put it on there, but I mean, I'm not trying to find and buy like a whole new foundation or like a pump for that because the pump, I think they sell it separately, but I'm going to try and do all that. So I just pour it onto my brush and I get about that much. And I'm just going to dot this all over my face as I do all my other foundations. My mirror's over here, so if I'm looking over here, don't mind all of that. And then also my neck. And I'm just going to start buffing.
so just buffing into my neck as well. Also the side of my neck because that is where you can tell that separation of the colors, especially like right here, is where people forget to like mainly blend. And girl, if you have orange and then you have like white, it does not look too good. I'm not saying that this foundation is totally orange, but you get what I'm pretty much saying. And for concealer today, I'm going to use this NARS concealer, and this is in the shade Vanilla. And so, I know the universal, well not the universal shade, but the shade that everybody gets is Custard. But when I went to Sephora, Custard looked too close to my skin tone. And I did not want, like, basically this concealer looking like my skin tone. I wanted it a little bit lighter. So I went with the next lightest shade, which is Manila. Put a little bit on my chin, a little bit on the sides of my nose where it's really red sometimes. Alright guys, how annoying, but my camera stopped recording because the chip got full. But I just blended out that NARS concealer with my L'Oreal sponge. So as you guys know, I have totally been into cream contouring. I've always been a cream contour, to be honest. It's rare sometimes that I don't cream contour. So I'm just going to grab, like always, my Maybelline stick and use a contouring shade and start to contour. And then with the concealer side, I'm going to go right under that contour to create that sharp line. So you guys see that like make of the sharp line. Now I'm going to grab my beauty blender and I'm just going to pounce it into my skin. I'm not really trying to move anything because I placed it there for a reason. So if you start to dab it all over your face, you're going to have probably a muddy contour mess. So I just tried to dab it onto my face like so. And as you guys can see, it just easily blends out. And this is like basically one of the reasons why I love this so much. It blends out super easily and super fast without you really having to do much. If you don't know how to paint contour, this basically does it for you. You just have to create those lines and it blends out itself. And blending out with a sponge is a little bit easier than if you were to blend out with a brush. Because with a brush, you kind of have to be pre precise with it. As where a beauty blender, you can just easily dab and it's totally fine and it's basically into your skin. So yeah guys, so um, and so guys, if you guys can please let me know on the bottom um, in the comments if you guys like the setup a little bit differently, if you guys notice anything better, worse, similar with the lighting, any um, suggestions that you guys have for me basically, or anything that you guys want to see, just please comment it down below. I do look down there for comments, nobody really comments as of right now. But I would like to start seeing more of them. So if you guys don't mind just leaving a comment. It could be anything about anything at all. Um, constructive 
criticism, anything, feedback, just let me know your thoughts on everything. And yeah, I really appreciate it, guys. I'm just going over my beauty blender with everything to make sure that there is no creases before I set everything because I am indeed about to set. And to set today, I'm going to use this NYC Smooth Skin Powder and I'm going to bake. So while that is baking and doing its thing, I'm going to go ahead and contour my face with this Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Powder and just apply it to where I apply that cream contour and this is just going to set it. Okay guys, so I'm back. Again, my camera stopped recording because it said it was full, but it's okay because while I was downloading um, the footage onto my computer, I got a chance to do my eyes. And so, like I said, this is just a full coverage foundation routine. So for my eyes, I'm gonna give you a quick overview. I use this Chanel, it's this quad, and this is, it says Dunes. So I'm guessing this is like the quad called Dunes and I applied like always my Kiss eyelashes and these are in the style flirty and these you can get for like $12 and you get five of them. I reuse them sometimes. So yeah, so I just applied that and I did my eyebrows and for my eyebrows I use Benefit Brow Power and this is just like a regular brow pencil. I really like it. And so in order to take off my bake, I've left it on for about like 10-15 minutes now. And I'm going to take it off with this Morphe G8. So I'm just going to swipe below. And yeah, my powder is already applied. My bronzer is already applied. So I have blush. And then use my Lancome blush in the shade Aplum. I'm quickly with the same Too Faced powder gonna bronze and contour a little bit my nose. Once I have my nose contoured, it is time to spray my face. I'm going to use my NYX First Base Setting Primer. And because of the fact that I applied so much powder, I did spritz a little bit more than usual, which is perfectly okay because it's going to get rid of all that powderiness. And for my highlight, I want to beam it to the gods. So today I'm going to use my Becca Champagne Pop by Jaclyn Hill Highlighter. And I'm going to use, like always, my Morphe G37. And just take a little bit, apply it to the apples on my cheeks. Or not to the apples, sorry. Apply it to my cheekbones. grab my AOA brush, grab a little bit of the champagne pop and put some under my eyebrow so that my eyebrow too can be gleaming. 
put some on my other eyebrow. Put some on my inner corner. Line my lips with this NYX Professional Makeup and it's just a lip liner in the shade Alluring. I'm going to go with this um, lipstick that I got from Amazon and it is in the shade Rogia and it's a liquid, liquid lipstick and I'm just going to apply that. Alright guys, so my whole family is here now so I'm going to end up doing my hair off camera. I'm going to get ready off camera. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you have not yet, please subscribe. And again, leave any comments down below. And I'll see you guys in my next. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this full coverage foundation routine. And I only do this on certain days and certain occasions. But I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.